everybody, welcome back to Dog Place Grandia. We are on top of the end of the world, or not quite on top, but kind of halfway maybe. Let's dash some items here actually. I think we can actually put in some resurrection potions. Because we have so many of them and I don't think we need those movement break things. Maybe we don't even need the dynamite and things like that anymore. Flint bow I'm going to put in. Oh yeah, about the bond of trust. I figured out how it works. You use it and one person jumps ahead on the IP gauge and the permanent its its title with here just means the item is not used up upon use. Okay, this one we don't I don't think we need uh, confusion on one friend that we have panacea and Sue has the staff that cures confusion ghost knife maybe I will carry this one around bow fruit SP could be useful antidote don't think we need it roach bomb I'm going to put in here okay let's go The game is saved and everything. This is a switch, maybe? It just seems like it, okay. I don't remember whether the end of the world actually has a boss or not. I hope it does. <laughs> but what I find weird about this game's first boss, look, is there a crack in this? That's strange, I never noticed that tile before. Uh, what I find strange about this game's first boss is... How it's that stone bird. It feels like that should be something here on top of the end of the world, right? It totally looks like it comes from here. It should be a normal enemy here, to be honest. Just, just suggesting here, oh. This thing is about to totally fall down, isn't it? <laughs> What's going on, man? Okay. I mean, that's that way. It works, I guess. I thought we were supposed to fight that golem or something. Nice. <laughs> You're so intimidating, man. Oh, yeah. There is those storm birds here. Alright. Let's fight it. Claybird. Oh, I guess stronger version makes sense, right? Uses clay feather. Oh, maybe it's not stronger. I think it has less HP, actually. Uh, maybe I just use fire. See how that does. And Justin, we can use a W break, I think. Okay. 35, okay, that's not that much. Maybe it's magic resistance too. Oh yeah, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Justin is a cold-blooded murderer of clay birds. You didn't stand a chance. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I love it when they bring back like former bosses as normal enemies in games. Some people say, oh, it's it's lazy game design, but I feel like I love those callbacks, man. Sonic Bats, alright. How's your HP? 81. They're just calls for a howl here. Blast! Blast! Good night, sons. Should stagger them a little bit. Wind level up. Nice. It's exactly what I wanted. All according to plan. 
And Fina just run up on one of them, maybe. I think it's enough to absolutely decimate all of them. But just in case, throw a little whip in there. Yep, there they go. They cannot be stopped. Is there any item here or something? No, okay, I thought there was a hole in the wall for a second. Now you did it again, you bastard. <laughs> Okay. Like normal traversal is so so boring, right? Why don't just go by lifts and sliding platforms? I wish our world had something like this. Shall we camp around here for today? Again? Man, you're so generous. Are you okay, Sue? You don't have much pep today. Mm, I'm, I'm just so tired of climbing this wall step by step and always the same old view too. Puff puff. Sue, what are you saying? Java told us about this, remember? Overcome the trial before you and you may get that which you desire. That's how adventures work. Yeah, but no matter what you say. This is so tiresome and boring. Okay. I understand how Sue feels though. We climb and climb and all we see is more wall. I'm starting to doubt this top. Oh now even Fina's losing faith. Hey we adventurers, adventurers go all the way and never give up. Hmm. Yeah you're right, adventurers must never lose faith. It looks like I got another adventuring lesson from Justin. Got a feeling that we're at least halfway up. We'll be getting to the top soon. Halfway, huh? Okay. Are we all healed up already? Seems like it. Just for good measure though. So this is longer than I thought. Okay, there's a kind of searchlight. Better not get spotted by this, I suppose. Where does that searchlight come from? I want to go here, is it possible? No, it's not possible, okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at the glitching here. Okay, there's bats inside of the wall here. This could look so suspicious, so I didn't want to go around. Bina, it's howl time. Try to use mana capture or something. This'll teach you. Okay. Obliterate them. Okay, Justin, find another one. Sue, guess what? <laughs> The weather forecast says today is going to be windy. I don't know, like, I'm. I ran out of lines to say when using Howl. <laughs> okay, another wind level up for Sue. That's good, though. What a cinch. No problem. Full level up for Justin as well. You should have. Okay, how do I get down there? Maybe like this? Uh, nope, okay. Ouch. That scared the hell out of me, but now we know why that thing in the middle is there. There's more bats here, okay. I mean, fine by me, it just means I can use Howl more. I think this does like half of their HP. Yeah, around that. Maybe Sue just goes in with the staff this time, because we need some XP on that as well. And Fina, you go with the whip on the other side. 
Oh, the freaking bat counted Fina, okay. Okay, she still got it though. Not bad, eh? Yeah, nobody you can touch us, we're just too strong. Okay, yeah, let's proceed here. So that's what the searchlights do, they just bring down the entire row of stone on us, huh? That's interesting. Hey, I didn't want to go up, I think. Let's go to the other side first. I always feel like I'm missing out on something in Grandia. No. <laughs> okay. Doesn't feel so slidey, actually. Even if you're running in this slight direction, it's going really slow. Okay, no trap here, apparently. What do those things do? Oh. Alright. Some birds. Emerald bird. Okay, it's yet another one. It says 268. Justin, what do you have magic wise? Hmm, should I use a tremor here? Maybe a tremor on the bats? Does this work? I mean, they're flying, right? Fina, do you have strong single target damage? I don't think so. So maybe you go for a critical on the bird? Okay, does this work? It's an earth spell and those things are flying. But maybe those, this fire shooting out hurts it or something? Oh no, okay, it worked. Sue, so can you use a howl slash here? It's a tornado! I think it's the first time we use that one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, I remember that. Goodbye, all bats, basically. And just use a W break. You're done for, man. <laughs> Good night. What a cinch. 200 XP. Nice. Level up for Fina. Okay, now we can proceed, maybe. Man, I don't know. <laughs> okay, this one doesn't really do anything, but this one did something, right? Do I have to go down again now? Oh yeah, okay, it doesn't slide us off anymore. Let's go fight them. I want to see all the birds. It's just a clay bird again. Okay. Soon you cannot use another howl slash, huh? That's too bad then. Then I just go for a howl on this thing. Should still do good damage actually. Then Fina, you can use a Howl Slash. And Justin, you could just go in and come with a bird, maybe. A wind, blow him away. <laughs> Here we go. I expect it to be another resting area at this point, to be honest. Alright. Also, wind level up for Fina. I feel like our wind level is really getting up there, it's so useful. There's no other way here, right? Nope. Up we go. Now this is a real adventure. Oh, the music is slightly different here.
Oh, okay, I was like, where, where do we go here? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, what's this? Okay. It's just cut like everything in half. It's probably punches really hard. Okay, sorry about that. Didn't realize this would go down again. Oh yeah, those look like they can hurt. Why are they showing this off to us? Ouch. What do we do here? How do we look? It hurt a little bit. I think Sue will use some water magic here. Just for good measure. Otherwise we never get to use it probably. Maybe there's another camp right ahead. The other two were on intervals of three or something I think. And this is nine. So let's see whether I'm right. Oh, is this... Kind of boss fight against three birds at once. Okay, that's cool. Two emerald birds and one clay bird. Bring it, guys. How about I give you guys a howl? <laughs> because I don't have anything else. Justin can use a tremor here. I don't know how much a tremor will do. Owl doesn't do a lot. It doesn't necessarily have to mean anything though. Tremor hits all three of them at least, so that's good. Oh, it's did just as much as a howl actually, that's not good. It's just a howl slash then. I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> Let's use more magic. Okay, this is a little bit more. Justin, why don't you go on this one? Okay, that's a valid reason, I suppose. Get the clay bird suit. Ina goes for this one, maybe. Emerald bomb. Oh, okay. Okay, Justin, which one is going? This one, huh? Okay, kill both of them, nice one. There we go. Yeah, it really wasn't as bad as I thought, maybe. I mean, the hit is a bunch with that emerald bomb, but at the same time, Sue still has MP and has heal, so... We can totally do this. Uh, heal again. How much HP did it, or EXP does this even give? Like 10 maybe? We got 5 EXP for healing Sue there. I mean, it's still better than nothing. Alright, goodbye. I didn't want to go to the end of that platform anyway. I like how some of the cubes just appear or disappear. Is this the top? It looked like the top there for a second. There's nothing secret behind here? Nope. 
Too bad. Is there something secret behind here? Nope. You can't leave me hanging like this, Des. Why don't we camp around here for today? Yeah, okay, I thought so. I'm going back. We've climbed and climbed and we still haven't reached the top. Puff puff. Okay, don't have an attitude, Sue. What's wrong, Justin? Or oh, maybe you're all worn out? I don't know, it's really starting to seem like there's no end to this war. What's the matter, Justin? It's not like you to suddenly sound so pessimistic. We just said we started climbing such a long time ago. When will we finally get over it? Well, good question, but... Anyway, who was it who first said that we should climb this huge wall? Wanna just go back? We've had a heck of a climb to get this far. Wow, look at... Look at her face, man. Justin, have you forgotten? Adventures never give up. That's what you told us. Or were you just making that up? No, I wasn't making it up. What I said is true, but... I was thinking I'd never make it to a place like this if I hadn't met you. I guess I had forgotten what fun adventuring is and what true adventures are all about. Justin, thank you. Fina, you're right. You're right, we adventurers. You betcha. If we pull our strength, I know we can get over this wall. Okay, let's do it. Just you wait, Liete. We're gonna get to... Alent? For sure, I forgot how to say it. Hey look, Justin Sue, the sky is full of beautiful stars. Oh yeah, awesome. I'm sure it's just a little farther to the top. Come everybody, we can do it. Thank you for the encouragement. What's that light? Oh, the morning sun is shining. Until now the wall was in the way and we didn't get sunshine till afternoon. You know what that means? You're right, that must be it. Okay, let's go see. Okay boys, we're almost on the top. There's no music here. Oh, look at this. How about that? It's not really the end of the world. We just got the achievement, the end is the beginning. Look, the sun's rising. Awesome, it makes the world shine like gold, huh Justin? Ah! <laughs> Why does it just go ah? Man, I love this place. Hey, what's that? Yeah, what is it? It's moving. Yeah. Well, we've reached the top. Now, how are we supposed to get down to the other side? Mm, I don't see anything we can use to help us get down. We can't just scale down the wall either. Hey, do you hear a strange sound? Justin, look! Ah! What's that? No, it's an Amazon delivery drone! E, what are you doing? Uh, Sue, somebody is going to get you delivered conveniently to their house. <laughs> what are you doing, Sue? Justin! Ah, Sue! Okay, so that's a good way to get rid of a character. Good riddance, you dipshit. <laughs> Just kidding. Eek! Sue! Where'd you go? I can't see her. Ah, Justin! Goodbye, cruel world. Hey, stop it! Let go of me! Stop now! Hey, you! Just let go! I said let go! Uh, hold it right there! I take back what I said earlier. Don't let go, okay? Hey, Fina, what should we do? You're asking me? Just do something, Justin! Ah, Fina! <laughs> Justin! That's how it goes. And that's how we die. Anyway, thank you for watching. Been a good playthrough so far. <laughs> Just kidding. The screen really stayed black for a long time there, so I didn't know what to say. Hmm. I rest JPEGs. That looks like a comfy landscape. Justin, hold on, Justin. Uh...
Justin! Justin, are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? What do you mean, Fina? I'm fine. Slept like a baby. Justin! Yeah. What's the matter, Fina? What's going on? <laughs> what a relief! I was wondering what I'd do if you had died right then. Oh, now I remember. You fell from the top of the end of the world. Are you okay, Fina? Sure, I'm fine. Still a little dizzy, maybe. Hmm, what saved us from getting hurt, though? I guess we lucked out and fell onto this big leaf. What do you think? Wow, is this a leaf? It's humongous, isn't it? Still, I wonder how... Justin, look over there! Okay, nice. Look at a conveniently placed spot over here. Hey, it looks like... It's true, we've crossed the end of the world, alright! What an amazing place this is, it looks like it's made for adventuring. Oh, wait a second. We oh, here's Sue! Where's Sue? I haven't seen her yet, we got separated when we fell. But I'm sure she must be close by, let's go find her. Right, I'm sure we can find her, let's go, Fina. We can find what's left of her, maybe? There's another storage opportunity here. Does anything we want to store? How are we with resurrection potions? We've got two on us here. Um, no, we got three. I think I'm going to store one of them, maybe. And I will save the game here. We will still play for maybe another few minutes just to see what's ahead. We're in Dragon Valley, apparently, according to the save thing. I saw a gold sack there. Yeah, okay. Now this just screams undiscovered place, right? Man, those plants are really scary. It's like they're going to drop on us. Oh look, there's enemies there. Let's get a jump on them. Plop mold, okay. How strong are they? 129, that's... It's not necessarily weak, so... Let's use some fire spells. They look like they're flammable. Maybe Fina can get the other one. Burn out. Yeah, this only hits one of them. Wow, it only does 68. That's way worse than I thought. Hey Justin, this one wants to use Poison Spore. It's combo time. Okay, physical attacks way better. Point noted. What do we have here? Oh, maybe it's an antidote or something? Yeah, okay. As soon as that guy used the poison thing, I was like, okay, there has to be an antidote somewhere. Let's get a jump on those guys. Red Devil. Alright. What are they holding? Is it like... Is it a skull or is it an apple? Wow, okay. They don't take a lot of damage from attacks like that, huh? At least not from Fina's whip. Ah, the plop mold. <laughs> Wanna go, son? I'll go first. Okay, two plop molds. Let's just go ham on them. Axe and whip level up. Nice. What do they drop? Maybe more antidote? Health wheat. I love the character limitations, it just makes it look like somebody who can't spell spelled it here. It's just 80 HP, okay. I'll take that gladly. 
More plot molds, more problems. Someone wants to poison us, apparently. Okay, can we make it in time? Seems like it. Okay, as long as there's only two of them, we can easily dispatch of them. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this guy to run into me like, come and get me. Okay, B acts first. Okay, just a normal attack, no problem. As long as it's not poison, because poison is super annoying. Okay, normal attack so far. Pretty good. There's a lot of those guys though. So. Hey, how do we deal with four of them? Maybe Fina goes for a strong attack. Maybe Howl Slash. Maybe Burn Flame. Let's go for Burn Flame first. Oh, it's only three. I thought it was four for some reason. Oh, flame burn him. I thought it was two red devils and two of those blob molds. Okay, those two are gone at least. Slam. <laughs> Not, bad, eh? Not quite in time, but it's alright. Okay, so they do also drop antidotes. There's one more there. Maybe we can get around that. Tactical espionage action. What about this one? Okay, we can also get around that. Man, the music here is really bizarre. Um, can't really see anything here. No, please. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Oh, I can see a kind of brat lying back there. In the other hallway, so to speak. Okay, just popped them. I think they're counted as plants and that's why Justin is so strong against him. What a thing. Probably, right? I mean, it's probably technically speaking a fungus, but maybe they just group fungi with plants. Can't blame them. Now, how do I get... Okay, I can get here. Is there a trap? Doesn't seem like it. Restores 4 level 2 MP to one friend. Barmo fruit, okay. Not qu quite what I thought it would be, but... Whatever. I have no idea where these red devils came from, by the way. Okay, you just knock him. Ah, not quite. Okay. Only one attack. No problem. Okay, that's that in that direction then. Guess we have to pass through here. Just see what's here. There's three red devils. I'll get the drop on them. It's maybe going to be a little bit of a longer episode. I think Fina... What do you do here? Maybe... Maybe a Howl, I'm not sure. Maybe a Burn Flame, rather. Justin, run up to this one. Then we can see how much damage this does to Red Devils. Okay, not insignificant at least. I 
I feel a little bit like with two people, like you don't have that damage output anymore. You can really see how Sue actually mattered. What if I go here? Oh, okay, there's a platform. So I thought this is like, like a pit trap of some kind. Okay. This leads into another thing. Let's go back and see where those red devils are. I don't want to miss a good item here because you never know when you can get back or if you can get back. Okay, maybe the, there is no good item here though. Just a new combo one of the plops. Tina, you come with the other one, maybe. Okay, X level up, whip level up. That's what I like to see. Demon throw. Oh, wow, it knocked it right down. Get smacked. Not bad, eh? Yeah, I'm really stressing about not finding a mana egg. You know what I mean? Because I'm afraid in the end one of our characters doesn't know all the spells. Or at least doesn't have the potential to know all the spells. Um, item wise, we're a little bit beat up. We have health weeds. What does Fina have? We're full on items anyway. Here's a ginseng. If that one to Justin. And you can consume one of the health weeds, I think. We'll probably be getting more anyway. Sorry, I meant to go here. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Wait, was going to the other side also a thing here? No, okay. Sometimes it's hard to see. Where you can go and where not. Okay, more red devils. Coming right our way right now. Get him! <laughs> okay, not my initiative, huh? Okay, Fina, you go for this one. Damn you and you super hot apples. All right, we won. Yeah, they're dropping a lot of items. Another health weed. Okay, I think they really want us to stay alive here. What's that on that side? Another kind of fruit, probably. That plant looks suspicious. Yep, I knew it. All right. Some kind of roly ponies there. Why are there so many enemies here? Looks like they're protecting something. Slipple, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit strange. And let's use a burn flame here. Oh, the counter is a slime, okay. Uh, Justin, maybe go to the one in the back. Oh, flame burn him. Okay, let's see how much this one does. Learn burn flare. Okay, cool. Okay, that did a good amount. Most of them were left like with one or three HP or something. Okay, Burn Flare is a next level spell, like level 3 probably. If I had to guess. Um, now what do we do with those three guys? Maybe a Howl? Or maybe Justin goes... Ah, it's hard to say, maybe Justin goes in with a swing. And Fina does a Howl. Because I feel like her magic hurts him more. 
Or at least her whip hurts him less. Okay, can we get this thing? No! <laughs> totally got both of us. Son of a gun. Another health read, alright. Might need it. What's this? Someone's shoes. Uh oh. Wait, these are Sue's shoes. Alright, um. Item wise. I'll use a health read, no problem. I'll use another one, no problem. I thought like, oh, is it a good item? Then it was just a shoe. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Maybe they killed Sue. Oh, there's a treasure chest on the other side. Nope. Goodbye, devils. I have, <laughs> I have somewhere to be. Let's knock those guys out real quick. I like how they go, wow! Fina... Just combo on one of them. Justin takes the other one. Okay, then Fina goes on this. Smack. And Justin cleans up. <laughs> All right, we won. Okay, let's see what's in the chest. Hope it's not a trap. Hope it's a mana egg. It's a resurrection portion, I mean, alright. I've seen better things in my day. Okay, let's cross here. There was a kind of seat in this direction, I think. Let's just go here. It's a little roller boy. Okay, you slippers. Time to knock you out. Okay, two of them is no what challenge whatsoever. Now I feel this is curious. I feel like the end of the world didn't feel as long as this thing here. No, please. <laughs> I feel like this thing here feels way longer. Puff, puff, puff. Hey, the Puffy. Oh wow, we can hear it make sounds. Wait, hold on, take it easy, Puffy. Okay, now where's Sue? Calm down, Puffy. Right, Justin, we're not getting anywhere this way. Let's have Puffy lead us to her. Okay, right. Take us to her, Puffy. It's a little bit like the annoying fairy from The Legend of Zelda, right? Okay, there's no item here or anything. Let's go. Uh oh. Puffy and Sue, where's Sue? J Justin, look over there next to the cauldron. Next to the cauldron? It's Sue's back, but the cauldron? Is Sue inside? Good night. Justin, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Let's not be foolish. Now calm down, Fina. Yeah, but. Who's that handsome big boy? <laughs> hey you! Is this pot yours? What happened to what was inside? Are you hungry? I'm afraid I ate it all. Are There's you hungry? Nothing left. Uh, Tina! <laughs> Did you burp so hard she fainted? Hey! Come on and fight! I'll take you on! 
I'll make you into stew. Okay. Fuck. You and I in a duel. Well, how about that? Look at the size I'll of the sword, then. I am Gadget, Knight of Dight. Gadwin, Knight of Dight. Is this a one-on-one -on -one boss fight? Okay, I guess hit it with the W break. Zero damage, huh? Alright. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. Here goes! And then just use Tremor, I guess. See how much that does. Yeah, okay, it's one of those. I think I remember this is one of those you lose fights. Just use digging then. Get some EXP. Oh, I didn't notice I have tactics. Did you see that play fair pop up for a second? It's like I can click the trying a button, I guess, or a Y button on the Xbox controller, and it says play fair. Yeah, I guess I'll just try leveling <laughs> my earth spells then. I think he just has a super powerful attack he's waiting for right now. I don't know whether our defense level can go over 3. Time to find out in this super experimental fight. Yep, it can go to four, apparently. I wonder when he's going to attack. I feel like we will die soon. Defense level five. <laughs> Come on, Gatwin. Oh, he looks like maybe he's about to slash. He looks ready with his sword in one hand. Pencil level 6. How high can we go? Level 7? Okay, maybe it goes up to level 9. I mean, that's a very interesting fight, one way or another. Defense level 7 seems to be the highest, okay. Uh, just use... Shockwave, maybe? Here goes! This didn't do anything, right? Didn't even show zero. Then use combo. Okay, double zero. Nice one. <laughs> uh oh, he's using something. Come, power of the universe. Ha! Dragon King Slice. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Okay, that seems a little bit excessive, Catwin. Ah, ugh. Last in. Now, how'd I get here? He's not making stew out of us, is he? <laughs> it's you, is Catherine's special dish. It's flying dragon stew. Who are you? This is Dr. Alma. She rescued me after I passed out in the forest. Dr. Alma is a very kind lady. She's just like my mother. I'm Dr. Alma. I have a clinic in Diet Village, up the road from here. I was surprised. I was surprised to hear a young man like you cross swords with Gatwin, the greatest swordsman of Dyke. That is a nice house, man. Alma, you're insulting this young man, even at his youthful age, he's a fine swordsman. His skill with the long sword belies his age, but I'm using an axe, man. Are you blind? It was a long and interesting sword fight, don't you agree, Justin? Oh dear. 
God, when you haven't ate, changed a bit since we were kids. I guess that's just the way you are. Well, I think Sue is fine now, so I'll be returning to diet. I'll leave the rest to you, Gadwin. Alma, what's the rush? You seem to be in a hurry. Is it because of the rain? Yes, that is one reason. Already some people have fallen ill. I may have to work all night tonight. She's gone and I didn't even thank her. Well, anyway, I say it's time to get some rest, okay, everyone? I'm sorry, Gadwin. I jumped to conclusions about you. Thanks for helping, Sue. <laughs> when Justin misunderstands, he does it all the way. Hey, I wasn't the only one. Fina fainted when she saw the cauldron. Her eyes rolled up like this. Hey, come on, I didn't do that. Don't be foolish, Justin. <laughs> okay, no big deal. Everyone makes mistakes, right? So, Justin, is it true that the three of you crossed that huge wall? The end of the world? Of course it's true. We came on an adventure looking for ruins of the Angelo civilization. Hmm, that is hard to believe, but... We are comrades who've dueled together. Your eyes tell me it's the truth. I'll help in whatever way I can. Is there anything else you want to ask? Uh, is Dr. Alma your girlfriend? No. Alma's been my friend since we were kids. To train well, I must live alone, away from towns and people. Alma comes out here sometimes, but only to mend my clothing or bring me some medicine. Uh huh. Sounds l to me like she's. Not just an old childhood friend. Yeah, but I think maybe Gatwin's not too sensitive to her signals. Hmm, by the way, I noticed that Dr. Alma looked very grim about something. Did something happen in her village? Yes, recently Dyed Village has had a bit of trouble. Something happened. Dyed Village is a fishing village along the coast up the road from here. It used to be a prosperous village with lots of good fish to eat. I'm no good at all telling long stories. Maybe you should hear the details from Dr. Alma when we get to Dyed. Alright, I'll help in whatever way I can. Is there anything else you want to ask? Is a place called Alland near here? Hmm, I don't know if that's what you guys are looking for, but I heard that there are large Angelonian ruins, even larger than my village, which are located far to the south of here. Oh really? That's gotta be Alland. Fina Sue, let's get going right away. Come on, we need to get ready. <laughs> You're amazing, Justin. You think Alland is going to run away? <laughs> Those ruins are quite a few days walk from here, a very distant place. Maybe you should come with me to Dyed Village, I'll show you around and you can get supplies for your long trip. Okay, anything else? Tell me about the strange place. This is the Valley of the Flying Dragon. It's the place closest to the end of the world and it has the world's deepest mountains. It's a good place to sharpen your sword and your skills as a warrior. That's right, from this side of the wall. This area must be seen as the end of the world. So it's like what the misty forest is to people on our side of the wall. You can imagine how I felt when I found an unconscious young girl here, surprised the heck out of me. <laughs> Gatwin, you've been such a big help to us and especially to Sue. We must somewhere repay you, we'd like to help you in any way we can if you ever need you, our help. Okay Justin, may I consider that a man-to-man -man promise? Of course, a man-to-man -man promise. That is the way it must be, I will not accept anything less. He's a cool guy. Well, time to sleep. Tomorrow I'll show you that village. Right, huh? I wonder what that village is like. Isn't it fun, Fina? Sue? Okay, where is the safe point? Is there one in Gatwin's, Gatwin's house, maybe? Yeah, okay. Did Gatwin join the party? Yes, okay, cool. He's level 30, man. <laughs> Look at his stats. Look at his items. Himmler is a sword. Hmm. I don't know whether it's the same in German, but that name is not really good, you know. 24 attack. Plus 12 defense. Plus 4 defense, plus 5 move. Plus 4 plague resistance. Pirate Helm, Pirate's Helmet, and Dragon Gauntlet, okay. Nice. Item wise, we have Squid Guts, Resource Friend DSP, Micro Scroll, 50 HP to all the party, Vaccine. Alright, guys, this is where I'm going to call it and say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's a little bit of a long one, but I couldn't help myself. 
for now. Thank you for your support and bye-bye.